Good morning siblings! Welcome to this week's vlog. I have so many fun things going on, but it's also kind of mundane things. So welcome to a week in my life. Oh my gosh, okay, so to start things off, we ordered an espresso machine off Amazon. I've been wanting an espresso machine for a while. I knew it came in today, and me and my husband have been looking at the order, like it says it's out for delivery, and he was like, as soon as it gets here, can you please make us some coffee? We both really want coffee right now. And it, I literally just got the email and saw the doorbell notification and it's like delivered, it's here. And my husband texts me, coffee, immediately. He's like, it is time. So I was about to start doing work, but I guess we're gonna try to make some espresso first and then we'll work. Let's grab the package. Oh, yay! I am so excited. Now, before we dive into all of that, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, which is Warby Parker. Warby Parker is my favorite glasses and contacts brand. I get my contacts from them. I get my glasses from them. I have sunglasses from them. I'm just obsessed. And I know you guys will be too. I've worked with them a bunch because I love them so much. Not only are they great quality, sturdy, and I've been wearing them since I first got them, but they're also affordable. They start at just $95, including prescription lenses, with anti-reflective, scratch-resistant lens coatings. They have so many styles, you're definitely gonna find something that fits your face shape and fits your personal style. And they have a quiz that you can take on their website where you can talk about what kind of frames you're looking for, what your face shape is like, and they'll help actually pick out of their wide selection ones that they think you'll love. And the best part is Warby Parker's free home try-on program. I've used this multiple times myself. Basically, you can have five frames sent to you for free so that you can try them on, see how they they actually look, how they actually feel. After you've had a few days to try them out, pick which ones you like, you send those frames back, and then you can order your frames with your prescription on their website. The home try-on program also comes with a prepaid shipping label. It is so easy. As someone who hates shipping stuff and all that kind of stuff stresses me out, this was unbelievably easy. Go to warbyparker.com slash Francis right now to take the home try-on quiz, pick five frames that you can try on for free at home. That's warbyparker.com slash Sydney Francis. The espresso machine I ended up getting is the Casa Brew. I watched a bunch of video reviews, read a bunch of Amazon reviews. This seems to be the best one in that like $150 range. I paid $115 because it was on sale and I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're gonna be learning. I probably won't do everything right in this video. First, let's open her up. but I do know a general idea of what I should be doing. I know the coffee goes in there and then you like smush it down. It's so pretty and it matches my already coffee machine. And I love how like sleek this one is. It's not gonna take up a ton of room on my little coffee bar over here. And it has a milk frother. This is my little coffee bar. And like I said, they kind of match the silver vibes. Now I know I have to do like a cycle with just water. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions. Step one, fill with water. Turn on the machine, the machine will start to preheat. Okay. So then I wait for all buttons to illuminate. I don't know why I'm so scared to do this, but it says that I need to like, what does it say? <laughs> uh, place a cup on the countertop and position the steam wand towards the cup. Okay, turn it on and let the hot water spout for 10 seconds. I don't know why I'm so scared to do this. I guess that's it. I thought someone said you have to do like a whole cycle. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna watch some videos. I kept reading my instruction manual and it told me what to do. Who would have thought? Okay, so we put this on. Okay, I'm guessing that's right. Oh, I need to get some of those cute little like espresso glasses. Okay, I have the two cup thing on here, so we press two cups. I'm so excited. This seems really easy. So now we can actually make our espresso. I need to clean this cup anyway, so I'll just run it over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna do our first actual espresso. So first I need to just make sure this isn't wet anymore. I have a scale with me because you're supposed to use a certain amount of coffee. 13, seems like a lot. And then we're gonna tamp it. So this is the tamper, and it comes with a two cup and a one cup, 
And then people were also saying that this is like whatever, I don't know the proper term, but you can use any coffee grounds because of whatever reason that I do not know. Make sure the coffee ground reaches the max line. Okay, we're at the max line. All right, wipe off the edges, put it in. And then I can do my two cups. All right, we're about to find out how my first pull of espresso goes. Ah, I'm scared. <gasps> It's supposed to be like a light brown, which it looks like it is. Oh, it looks so good already. I just wanna drink it. Why have I waited so long to get one? Okay, so this is my first ever pull of a shot of espresso or however you say it. And it looks exactly like all the people in TikTok say it should with like the frothiness at the top and it was light brown coming out. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now we need to try it. I'm going to make my seven brew drink at home, which is a sugar-free cinnamon roll. So let's get the rest of it prepped. I'm using my cute little Sydney Albany's bride cup. I'm gonna add my cute little heart-shaped ice. Oh gosh, this ice is like not fully formed. Okay, we'll use this next time. Okay, I have my cup of ice. We're gonna set that aside. Now the sugar-free cinnamon roll is going to be one tablespoon of sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon and then one tablespoon of the sugar-free. My other camera died, so I got this camera and it's about to die also. So let's be quick. Now we're doing a tablespoon of the white chocolate sugar-free syrup. Since it's my first time making it, I'm trying to be exact. So this person said to do five ounces of half and half. So let's zero this out. A little over five ounces, but that's about right. This is so much half and half. Obviously you can sub this for like milk or whatever, but we mix this up. Okay, thank goodness I found a spare battery. Third battery is a charm. Like I was about to say, we are gonna actually add in our espresso. I don't know why I'm just doing it in this like mixing glass. <laughs> anyway, mix all that together. And then simply pour over ice for iced coffee. Oh my gosh, okay, yes, that was the perfect amount for this glass. I think this glass is like, it's either 12 or 16 ounces, I don't remember, probably 12. I guess I can figure it out. No, I don't think that's how that works. First of all, that is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding me? My first home latte? If this is good, this is going to save me so much money. It is like $14 every time me and my husband go to Seven Brew, and Seven Brew is cheaper than most places, and we go like twice a week. So, here we go. Oh my gosh. Mm, yes, this is perfect. This is actually exactly how it tastes at Seven Brew. Might be a little too sweet, so I can either add more espresso, but that's a lot of caffeine, or I can just do a little bit less of all that stuff. But oh my gosh, yes, it is so good. This is your sign. Invest in an espresso machine. It'll save you so much more money. Okay, so let's make one for my husband now. I convinced myself I am just an expert now. Uh, got it all nice and clean. This is so fun and it tastes so good already. I know it can like only go up from here. Once again, it looks so good. Okay. <gasps> okay, update. I should not have done it this way. <laughs> it's not aesthetic. I'm just making a mess. I need a bigger cup. I just ran it down to Abram, my husband, and he reviewed it and said the same thing. It tastes just like Seven Brew. He does normally do like an extra shot, so it was a little more sweet for him. But I was like, that's the beauty. I can make as many shots as you want because we have it at home. So I am thinking this is a little dangerous because espresso has a lot of caffeine in it. And now that I can just make it at home anytime and I'm someone who is obsessed with iced coffee, it tastes so good. Um, yeah, a little worried. So I'm gonna have to limit myself to one latte a day. And I'm very excited. About to save so much money by not going to Seven Brew all the time. Okay, I have a lot to clean up and then I can finally get to work today. Mm, so good. Anyways, we are finally to work. It's already been a long day because I made a raw cat food, I went to the gym, I made lunch, I did some meal prep, made the espresso. So yeah, it's like already three o'clock. A little update on my business. Today is week two of my first client. My first client was actually a referral from my old job, which is really cool. And then I'm actually starting today my second client. Now the client that I had previously mentioned in my last video was my first client. They're now my second client, just because of payment issues and contract, whatever. Anyway, basically I started with the other client first. So I have two clients and it's my first like official month of being in business. So it's really exciting. Things are going great, except today I actually have to do work, obviously. I got so excited about like building the business and getting clients that like, you know, you actually have to do the work. 
obviously. So I'm gonna get started. Today I'm actually doing it very hands-on. I already have the social strategy and everything sent to my first client. I'm a social media manager. And so now I'm actually making the content, writing the captions. I'll send that over this week for approvals and then we'll be getting going. And as far as my second client, I am also kind of starting the same thing right away with them. So let's get to work. It's, it's gonna be a lot of work. This is probably week like one and two with a client is the most work because it's like onboarding and stuff. But anyway, let's get some productive study lo-fi playing on my little sound box because that makes me feel like I'm at a coffee shop. Oh, let me connect to the speaker. So now I'm like, we're gonna coffee shop. We have coffee shop at home. There we go. I thought making coffee at home would make me drink it faster and then want to make another. That's what I was like worried about. But it turns out I still haven't even finished the first one from a few hours ago. Oh, Phoenix, babe, Phoenix is yapping at a bird. He's doing his little yap noises. Anyways, um, what am I doing? I just changed. We're going to go play pickleball. I got a few hours of work in and actually got a ton of work done. Kind of getting more into the flow of how I'm going to be running my business, which was really nice. Boom, boom, boom. I always feel like this is like an airlock, the double door laundry room yeah, slash mud based. room. It's called based? Yep. Okay, I didn't know having an airlock was based. Oh, it's a little windy. Everyone went to go grab the sound box real quick, but we are here. Like I have nothing to say like I don't know what happened. I don't know who won to be honest. So uh, we played four games. They were all a tie <laughs> Oh, I lost I am kind of a sore loser. So I'm a little annoyed right now You're a lower loser. I feel like I tried so hard and I just hurt my back and rolled my ankle But it happens. We'll get him next time. I just got out of the shower and I'm pretty much just gonna like make dinner Oh my gosh the sunset, hold on, I have to show you this. Look how like bright orange and pink that is, it's gorgeous. I know Phoenix, don't you agree? Anyways, just showered and now I'm just gonna make dinner and then probably read. So pretty low key night, I probably won't talk again till tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Starting off strong, going to the gym. <laughs> Criminal. That's all I have to say about my hair right now. Hi, Phoenix. Um, we decided to end our workout walking on like an incline for 20 minutes, and this is what it did to me. So I'm really tired. I'm gonna take a quick shower, and then it's latte time. My friend I work out with is gonna come over, and I'm gonna make a latte for her. I just got done showering, and I feel like recently I've been having to actually like shampoo, wash my hair every couple of days. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm usually a once a week girly, but with all the working out I've been doing, it just gets so gross. It's really annoying because my hair takes like two or three hours to dry. Made all the coffee and now it is lunch time. So I'm gonna throw together a yummy little lunch. I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of Air of Fire. I've been reading this book for like a month and I just can't get through it. I did a little bit of reading last night. I'm feeling into it. It's starting to pick up a lot, but I think it helps if I can just audiobook while I do stuff because then it gets me hooked and then I'll read it at night. just got the solar eclipse vlog edited and uploaded and scheduled tell me why i just took a random like two week break on youtube for no reason i just didn't want to edit the video that was it i think it's time i get an editor that's how i feel i wasn't quite done with work but abram wanted to come and play pickleball so i came i'm taking a little break we'll play pickleball and then i'll try to get work done after as well just rediscovered this bucket hat. It obviously doesn't match my outfit and my hair is a mess, but I wanted to throw it on for a sec. 
I feel like I'm not really a bucket hat girl. I don't know. I also like hate, like now I can hear this. I can only hear myself. It's so weird. Anyways, I went to the gym and I went to a yoga like restore class. And then I got a text saying like, hey, we're helping grandma move. Everybody come over if you can come. So I think I'm gonna make me and Abram our lattes real quick and then go help move. My grandma's moving from the house that she's lived in my entire life, almost my dad's entire life into a house like right up the street from my dad. So big change, kind of weird, like nostalgia vibe seeing the house empty I don't know anyway so I think I'll go help them move I'm honestly almost out of coffee this might be it until I have to get new coffee I'm definitely going through coffee a lot faster making the lattes but they are so much better than drip coffee so I don't even care there's like barely any half and half left so I'm also gonna have to use more ah! I really just need to go to the store again wow there's like nothing Great. There's also barely any milk left, so I'm a little worried. Okay, I'm glad I didn't pour that milk in there because it is chunky. Great. This is going to be so sweet, but I'm going to have to use the rest of my heavy whipping cream. I just won't put as much, honestly. Okay, I'm a little worried about the taste. I mean... Yeah, it's a little sweeter, but it's still good. Great news. Um, it wasn't until one that we have to go help my grandma move. It's one o'clock now. And I had time to take a shower, make lunch, eat lunch, change everything. So wearing a random hand-me-down shirt, some shorts. I thought the bucket hat would be a vibe, but I feel like it doesn't really work with French braids. It's more so if you just have like two normal braids. I should have done that, but I do need a hat. So I think I'll wear it anyway, because it is 80 degrees, UV is seven. I'm not trying to get sunburned again. Okay, I put on sunscreen. Oh, one more thing. <gasps> Come here. Oh, he does not want to be held. It is Phoenix's second birthday today. I can't believe he's two, that is crazy. We've had him since he was eight weeks old. All right, y'all get this weird angle, but the vibes are immaculate. I mean, it feels like summer and it's only April 17th. Uh, there's like nobody here yet, just a few people, but we're waiting on Jordan to bring the trailer. No, we'll get to move him, but we're gonna start moving everything outside. Hello. What's up, vlog? So every time we come out, someone has to say something. I pulled up. Our aunt Karina was here already. She's been here all day. Okay. Do you not want your head in it? <laughs> yeah. Short girl I pull block. up and I only see Karina's car, so I'm like, oh, I was 20 minutes late. They're already done. That's crazy. These Mormons work fast. But I also pulled up at about 1:25 and thought they already did a whole load, and I was late. And I also only saw Karina and Logan's car, and I was like, oh, they already left. But nope, we're just the only ones here. And then Austin pulled up like a couple minutes later. <laughs> and <laughs> Thought so everyone was done. My I... dad was the one that said be here at one. He's not here. Jordan's supposed to bring the trailer. He's I not here. I called Jordan. He's like, oh, am I supposed to bring the trailer? I would have. I mean, someone's gotta. I was about to head to the new house. I thought we were already unloading. Same. And then we're coming back. I was like, I don't know who showed up <laughs> to move everything, but okay. No one's here. <laughs> just us. Good thing I came. I almost didn't come. Really? <laughs> A million years later, Jordan finally pulled up. We've even already loaded both of these cars full of boxes, but the trailer's now here. One hour late. <laughs> now we can load all the furniture. You wanna pull up right here? All right, y'all have seen updates throughout the vlogs, but the house is obviously now done and we're moving in. These are the vibes, kitchen, all done. Looks so cute, I love it. I got like gray countertops and new appliances. And the whole idea of the move is that 
my grandma doesn't have to live in a two-story house anymore. So, and she's right by my dad, so that's really nice. <coughs> new house vibes. This house is so cute. I mean, new bathrooms. This bathroom is new as well. for so long because I thought like everybody was gonna show up it was gonna go by really quick but on our second trip back to my grandma's I didn't really vlog much of it but a bunch of people did show up well not a bunch but a few more so we were able to knock out like the beds and the other couch and that kind of stuff but I'm exhausted I mean I worked out twice today and just did a whole move so I need a little bit of a pick-me-up recently I've switched to Pepsi Zero but I don't know why a Coke Zero just seems like it would hit right now it feels so good to sit down. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna sleep amazing tonight. Laptop is dead, waiting for it to turn on. Should just take like a minute. I also have a fun Amazon package coming in today that I'm very excited to show you guys. Let's see if it is on its way. Oh, maybe it already got here. Oh, it's here. Okay, I'll show you guys in a little bit. Okay, I might not show you the package until later or tomorrow because I have like five minutes to get ready for Bible study and I don't know where any of my stuff is and I am probably all gross from moving, but whatever. I got most of my work done. This changed super quick, so I don't know how I feel about the fit, but it's comfy and cute, so we're gonna go with it. Now I can show you guys the Amazon packages. So first thing, not that crazy, but me and Abram, hold up your cup, please. We got matching little cups for our lattes that we make at home. And Abram just made his first latte, showed him how to do it himself. Made it better so, than he ever could. That's just not even true. You literally like, oh, it kind of tastes like really strong. Yeah, but that's not a bad thing. It's <laughs> okay, a good thing. I'm trying to cheers. Well, I'm trying to mix my drink. Here. Cheers. This is the package I was excited to show you guys. It is like a little inflatable tanning pool lounge thing that you can just put in your backyard fill it up with the hose, and then I can just sit out there and tan. Unfortunately, well, it's kind of sunny right now, but today's been a cloudy day and it's supposed to rain later, and then it's gonna get cold a little bit again, and then it'll get hot again. So, anyway, but for the summer, very excited. It was on sale on Amazon, so I had to get it, of course. I'm gonna have to blow this whole thing up. I'm just getting attachment to, I'm sure the big one is a little different. You think I could use, like, the ball pump to do this? Uh, oh my gosh. That's not. <laughs> How do people normally do this? Do either of our air mattresses have a separate pump? What is it saying? Tells you how to do it. Oh, with an air hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Can you tell there was a deal on soda at the store? I got it all blown up, but I just don't think it's nice enough outside to be just laying here. But we'll test her out. Yeah, I mean, on a nice hot day, this is gonna hit. This is gonna be amazing. Well, it is now Friday. I am gonna go to Target because I just, I need like a few clothing items, nothing crazy. Maybe like a pair of pants, a pair of shorts, and a new shirt. I just have been really wanting to get that. And I have two clients now. We were doing business planning all day today. Well, not all day, during our lunch break. We were doing a bunch of business planning on like the goals and plans for my business for 2024. So it was really fun and exciting. And now I'm going to Target to celebrate. I tell you guys I was absolutely rushing to get out of Target by 6 30 and I didn't get out till 6 40 and I was freaking out just to find out that my plans got pushed back an hour 
No, it's all good though. That's actually a really good thing because now I can like get ready. I was gonna like change and go. So I'm going to a brewery with some friends of my brother and I was gonna meet at my brother's house and then he was gonna drive me and then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late. So I'm gonna miss it. Everything got pushed back. We're good. So let's do a haul. I guess you guys already saw me kind of try everything on. I feel like Target didn't have very many like cute shirts. So that was hard. So I ended up just getting kind of these ribbed t-shirts. These were only $8. So I just grabbed two of them, black and tan. And then I I was able to grab these shorts. They're cute. I feel like they're a pretty good length. They're pretty comfy. I also grabbed this shirt just because I thought it looked kind of good on me. It was in like the youth section. <laughs> And then these jeans are what I was most excited about. They fit, they're cute, they have holes. My other jeans that I wore there had ripped up so high, so I definitely needed some new ones. These were only like 30 bucks, so not bad for some jeans. I feel like Target has been very hit or miss. I had a gift card though, so that's why I wanted to go there. And it was so hard to find anything my size. My size was just gone in literally everything. So I was like, okay, perfect, love that. So I made it 10 times harder, but I think we accomplished something. I'm not too sure yet, but I might wear this out cute but casual but I'm gonna take a quick shower just to rinse off the like shopping vibes on me and then I'm actually gonna do my makeup maybe do my hair a little bit okay I'm ready I didn't have time to do all my hair so I think this works as long as my bangs are done it usually looks good going with this fit with the new jeans and yeah waiting on log to pick me up this is a look. I wanted to hop in one more time while I am getting ready to chat a little bit. I'm sure you guys have noticed that I haven't been posting as much and I hate to do this for like a fourth time and retell you guys how often I'm gonna be posting, but life just keeps getting crazy and YouTube can't always be the priority, but I definitely am not giving up. So my business has started to do pretty good. I have a couple clients. I'm getting a couple more in May, hopefully, and it is keeping me very busy so I'm probably only gonna be able to post like once a week I've been trying to do twice a week and if I have spare time I'll get another one up but I'm just so busy right now so expect to see me about midway through the week and my book channel is kind of dead because a I'm in a reading slump and I just can I've been having to audiobook the book I'm on right now because I just can't get through it and I just do not have time to edit those videos but I have an editor that I work with with some of my clients who I really love who understands me a little bit better than some of the other editors I've tried to use so I might have them start editing my videos and if that's the case I might be able to continue posting twice a week and posting on my book channel but we'll just see I'm trying my best I'm still trying to figure out like a good schedule so I just wanted to keep you guys updated and in the know but that's it for this week's vlog thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one bye